in life, we're either comfortable or uncomfortable. And the good news is, for the most part, we get to choose that. The bad news is we can't just choose comfortable all the time. In health and in wealth are good places to see how this works. So in health, it's, for most people, more comfortable to just sit on the couch instead of getting up and going for a walk. And certainly more comfortable than going to the gym where you're going to have to sweat and lift weights or run or do some hard things. And the reason it's called comfort food is it feels good to eat mashed potatoes and gravy with meatloaf. It feels good to eat a cheeseburger and fries. It feels good to eat a quart of ice cream. Sugar and fat. Mmm. But at some point, if we do all those things that make us comfortable, we're going to be uncomfortable. Life's going to say, okay, enough sitting on the couch eating ice cream. And now you're going to have to pay the price. Now you're overweight. Now you have no energy or stamina. Now you maybe contract heart disease or worse. Because we don't just get to be comfortable all the time. And if we choose comfortable now, we're going to be uncomfortable later. Wealth is another area where we can see how this works. If we choose to be comfortable, say, sleep till noon every day and be on our phone instead of making prospecting calls because that really makes me uncomfortable and I don't really like to present. It makes me uncomfortable. So I'm just going to sit here in my cube and pretend to be busy, but I'm really playing a game on my phone instead of doing my work. And I don't really feel like going in today, so I'm just going to call in sick. At some point, life says, okay, that's enough of being comfortable. Now you're going to be uncomfortable. Now you're not even going to have that bed to sleep in. You're not going to have a house to sleep in. And you're not going to have a car. You're not going to have any money to go anywhere or do anything. Because if you couldn't make yourself work, then you don't get the comfort of having the things that work gets you, namely money. So we can choose to be, un to be comfortable now, but we're going to be uncomfortable later. So what do we need to do? To be successful, we need to choose to make ourselves uncomfortable and get up and go to work and do the work. Make the phone calls, do the presentations, do the hard things that we don't necessarily like to do so we can have the things we like down the road. Make yourself uncomfortable and build some wealth so you can be comfortable and enjoy the wealth. With food and health, go to the gym, do the workouts, make yourself uncomfortable and get up every day at five o'clock and go to the gym and work out and choose a spinach salad with salmon instead of a cheeseburger and fries. And that way we can have health down the road, make ourselves uncomfortable, choose something we don't necessarily want so we can have something we do want later. See, it's not proportionate. For every uncomfortable choice we make, we don't necessarily have an equal amount of comfort. We typically have much more comfort. If we choose to eat healthy and work out, we have a much more comfortable long life. If we choose to put our head down and work hard and get up every day and do our thing, we're going to be wealthy that we can enjoy for a long time. See, it's not just every moment of uncomfortable equals moment of comfortable. So every hour at the gym equals comfortable hour of life. No, it's way more multiplied out. Unfortunately, it flips around too. For the hours and years that we spend being comfortable, eating what we want, sitting around, not working, being comfortable now is years and years of being uncomfortable down the road. See, we get to choose and the game is to make ourselves uncomfortable now so we can be comfortable later. Because if we just let it happen and think we're going to choose comfortable now and choose comfortable later, life's got something in store that we may not like.